I will present to you the statistical demographics showing the impacts of Kuiper in reducing teachers' workload. After this talk, I would also like to invite you to not only listen why we still use Kuiper in our university, but also to spark an educational revolution with Kuiper. So you may also ask yourselves, why should you use Kuiper? A report, a recent report by the Philippine Institute of Development Studies in 2019 pointed out that actual teaching hours have been increasingly sidelined by multitude of responsibilities which compromise quality. In the Department of Education's memorandum number 291 in 2008, teachers are expected to prepare lesson plans, instructional materials, evaluation assessment tools and rubrics, record academic performance, results and classroom accomplishments, also attend to seminars, workshops, and similar programs, doing counseling, mentoring, coaching, and the list goes on. This led to our university studying on how we can give our share in reducing the excessive workload of our teacher. In response, we partnered with Kuiper with such so our faculty member, Mr. Calote, studied on the implications of Kuiper in reducing workload with the following problem statements. For the first was the level of teacher's usage of Kuiper in terms of the videos, study guides, Q create, and analytics. The second was the teacher's level of workload before and after the use of Kuiper. And then if there is a significant difference of the teacher's work workload, before and after use of paper. So the workload determinants were anchored on the study of IUNI in 2018, identifying only three key components of workload, namely ability, working conditions, and school policy. Next, sir. That, that's right, thank you. A total population sampling among 38 senior high school teacher respondents was conducted with descriptive quantitative design. The questionnaire on Kuiper usage was adapted from the work of Jamil uh, et al. in 2019 to determine teachers' usage of the platform. Additionally, the researcher also adopted the survey questionnaire of the United States Department of Education in 2019 to assess the level of teachers' workload and how it has changed when Kuiper was used. The test questionnaire had two parts. One elicited data on the following features of Kuiper, namely videos, study guides, Kuiper 8, and analytics. Moreover, the researcher identified three key determinants of the teacher's workload as adapted from IENI, namely ability or competence, work conditions, and school policy. The statistical treatment used was the descriptive t-tests. The test also underwent phase and content validity by experts in the field. Their comments and suggestions were incorporated in the instrument. So as you can see on the screen now, the results and discussions. After having the data, the following results and interpretations were derived. You can see in table 1.1, it shows the difference of teachers' level of usage of Kuiper videos. The data revealed that most of the teachers almost never used Kuiper videos as a tool in conducting class before. Merely, the videos were used for convenience purposes since it is accessible in time and anywhere. However, with the increase in class engagement through such material, teachers later on find fulfillment in using the platform to sustain the interest of students in the learning activity, monitor progress of performance, and use it as means for instruction. Table 1.2 displays the difference of teachers' level of usage of Kuiper study guide. The data revealed that most of the teachers sometimes used Kuiper study guide as the primary reference during topical discourse in the class. Before, 
teachers use study guides to gauge independent learning and allow students to review at home. But more to that, study guides were used by teachers to springboard them in interactive discussion so students may overcome difficulty in the class interaction. Teachers also remarked that the content of study guides is updated and at the same time interesting. Next, sir. Table 1.3 reveals the difference of teachers' level of usage of Paper Q Create. The data showed that teachers often use Paper Q Create to allow students for practice of quizzes and give other academic tasks with deadline. As teachers found ways in maximizing the platform, they then used such feature to motivate students to answer exercises with reward points to be exchanged with cool stickers. This way, students became more motivated in doing tasks at hand. Furthermore, the respondents also used the platform to conduct online examination, which are both convenient for the students and the teachers. Furthermore, they emphasized that QGrade can also be used as a repository of teacher-made assessment tools that can be reused, modified, and refined in the following school year. Table 1.4 indicates the difference of teachers' level of usage of Kuiper analytics or statistics. The researcher discovered that most of the teachers sometimes use Kuiper statistics only to track students' engagement in the learning task and organize students' scores. The next time teachers used the auto-generated statistics provided by Kuiper to collect the needed data for grade computation. Moreover, they made it as a basis or reference for student promotion, feedback, and consultation. Next slide, please. Table 2.2 clearly shows the great difference of workload reduction from among teachers who used paper. The data revealed that teachers find satisfaction in their job, making paper as their partner in doing common tasks such as marking and correcting students' work, inputting, monitoring, and analyzing data from the trend of scores, teaching, and other related tasks. Additionally, teachers noted that their general administrative work, performance management, as well as teamwork with colleagues have significantly increased higher by the time they used paper. Table 2.2, evidently displays the high increment of workload reduction in terms of working conditions. The researcher discovered that teachers are more engaged in the curriculum planning, given that paper provides a rich content for many courses or subjects. They added, paper has organized resources where they can just select content, choose techniques, and gather ideas for test construction. Finally, the respondents believe that they have an increased efficiency in terms of individual preparation, since everything is readily available. What they only need to do more are other departmental tasks, which the institution deems significant in the class instruction. Table 2.3 by far is the greatest impact to the teacher's workload reduction from among the teacher respondents. They believe that Kuiper is the answer to the perennial problems of the other tasks of the teachers. Accordingly, Kuiper has helped them in more ways than one. The teachers remark that since they have used Kuiper, they had more time for student supervision and attend to disciplinary problems commonly committed by students in school. Thereafter, they too provided counseling sessions with students who have records of behavioral misconduct in the guidance office. Meanwhile, teachers said that they have also given time to struggling students through remediation, tutorial, and coaching. Finally, the respondents believe that they had more preparation during parent-teacher consultation, as well as in participating in the school management. The usage of paper had a higher mean than before when they had not yet maximized paper. 
The table also highlights that in terms of the three determinants, ability and competence has the greatest level of significance. The overall results additionally indicate that Kuiper significantly reduced the workload of teachers. So now next slide, sir. So based on the findings of the study, the following were formulated. Evidently in the study, the use of Kuiper as a learning management system helped in reducing teachers' workload. Successful teachers have significantly reduced their workload and were able to integrate such a platform by applying the features to assess students, monitor performance, and provide feedback for improvement. This confirms the idea that Kuiper definitely aims to improve the educative process, the teaching and learning by reducing teachers' workload. Next slide, sir. So if you come to think of it, technology may help us, but, it's, but it is only a tool and we should take control of it. The same as Kuiper, it is only a tool, but we can only maximize it through our creativity and innovation. So where are we at the moment with Kuiper? As an educational institution that recognizes global competitiveness as a basic requirement in the age of modernization, we definitely see the growing demand of stepping up in terms of ensuring quality education that is on par with the global standards. I believe that Kuiper is our great anchor and ally in attaining that vision. We have also realized that school administrators in collaboration with teachers and the key players in bringing about quality education is one smart move to digitize education while continually innovate. Of course, we also see to it that our parents and students are with us to this development, to this work in progress. That is why we are joining our hands together in the university-wide adoption of Kuiper not only as an e-learning platform, but as an institutional advocacy.